Next on the season finale of UMass Sports Insider, we take an up close look at the prodigious career of the Hoop Squad's team leader, a diminutive floor general who has been at the forefront of the program's resurrection. And we'll go behind the scenes on football's National Signing Day, where the new coaching staff was working the faxes and the phones as their new recruits piled in. Plus, you'll meet one of the best lacrosse scorers in the nation, an all-time UMass record holder who hopes to lead the Minute Women to a sixth straight conference championship. Ready for one final exciting go-round. UMass Sports Insider, time to start the show. You're watching UMass Sports Insider. Brought to you by Alden Credit Union, Mafre Commerce Insurance, and Coca-Cola. The end of the College Hoops regular season is fast approaching, and for the UMass Minutemen, the end of an NCAA tournament drought might be as well. Despite some ups and downs during Atlantic 10 play, Coach Kellogg's squad boasts a strong resume filled with top 100 victories. Now they look to earn a high seed in the upcoming conference tournament, which begins March 12th at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn. Hi there, I'm Josh Maurer. It's our last show of the year, so we can't hold anything back. Coming up later on, also a softball senior pitcher, Caroline Raymond, teaches us how to pitch. But we begin with hoop standout Chaz Williams, who's getting ready for a Brooklyn homecoming in the upcoming Atlantic 10 tournament. Simply put, when all is said and done, his numbers will place him as one of the greatest UMass players ever to don a uniform. With more, here's Cody Cruchelle in the bunker with Chaz. Chaz Juice Williams, Brooklyn, New York, senior point guard. Here comes Williams again to the rim. Got inside and banks it up and in with his right hand. And that's how the scoring starts, Chaz. He's always energetic. Wakes up at 7 in the morning screaming. That's just Chaz. Williams in rhythm. Got it. Before he ever stepped on the court for UMass, Chaz Williams knew he had a chance to be part of something special. My first year here, I sat out with Max Esho and Caglin Lane, and um, we spoke about things like this, but we didn't see it to happen years later. We thought it would happen right away and instantly. Well, lane up to Williams. He's running to the rim. Scoops it up. Oh! Off the glass and in. What a shot. Less than four years after he arrived in Amherst, the Hofstra transfer has the Minutemen on the cusp of returning to the NCAA tournament for the first time since 1998. People like the underdog. They like the, the smaller guy who brings a, a chip on his shoulder. And, and Chaz really exemplifies what UMass, really the Western Mass and UMass community is all about. Williams almost didn't stick around for his senior season. This past summer, the 22-year-old received a contract offer from a team in Turkey worth $150,000. He turned it down. You know, I thought about my family, uh, you know, being able to benefit my family, take care of everybody that I want to take care of. But then again, I felt like, you know, I would be leaving some unfinished business. And, um, you know, my mom always told me, never leave, your, never leave the dinner table unless your plate is finished. And, you know, I felt like I would have been left leaving here without my plate being finished, and I didn't want to do that, so, you know, I'm happy I did it. I think basketball is what drives him to uh, hopefully someday provide for his family, um, his daughter, his mother, and, and um, you know, all his, all his family members, and, the, and to use this kind of as the vehicle to, um, to a successful life. You know, I want to graduate. Um, you know, basketball only going to last but so long, so when it's done, I want to be able to, you know, start my own business or do something positive where you know I don't have to worry about going back to school to finish it. They've been called the Cardiac Minutemen. Williams, double team, gets through to the rim, banks it up, banks it in! Jazz scores again on the drive. UMass has trailed in the final five minutes in five of its first seven Atlantic 10 wins, and more often than not, the smallest player on the floor has been right in the middle of the rally. Sometimes if we come out down, you know, he just he just picks picks us up, you know, start scoring, you know, and from there you end up looking, he got 20 points. I'm just a competitor. Uh, I hate to lose, so I do everything in my power and my will to, you know try to bring the team back, or if, if I see a player open and I try to make a tough pass or something, but you know, it's just me growing up in Brooklyn, just having to fight for everything I wanted or having to prove myself over and over and over again. Williams is one of just 30 players in the country named to the midseason watch list for the Naismith Trophy, awarded annually to the top basketball player in Division One. 
We'll have to wait until June to find out whether or not an NBA team takes a chance on Chaz in the draft. But either way, his head coach believes he'll have an opportunity to make an impact at basketball's highest level. Everybody wants winners. They want tough point guards that know how to play, that can pressure the ball for, for 94 feet. And he's a guy that's dynamic. He's fun to be around and fun to watch, and he'll come in and work. So, you know, he'll, he'll surprise some people like he has his whole career. You know, doubted in high school, doubted in AU, Hofstra, up to UMass, and, and I think he's uh, exceeded expectations every step of the way. For UMass Sports Insider, I'm Cody Cruchel. Thank you, Cody. Chaz will likely become an All-Atlantic 10 first-team selection for the third consecutive year. We can't wait to see what he has in store for an ending for his UMass career. Let's switch gears to football now, where after only a few weeks on the job, recently head coach Mark Whipple welcomed a new recruiting class here to UMass. And on signing day, our UMass Sports Network cameras were behind the scenes with Coach Whip and the rest of his staff as all the action unfolded. Let's take a look back. It's our behind the scenes glimpse. We got snow today. A little bit. Not ready. <laughs> So already uh, sleep. Is it really? Yeah. It was brutal. It's been a busy couple weeks, and then you throw a snowstorm on top of signing day, and it's been a it's been an interesting Wednesday, that's for sure. But we had a couple guys that had no power today, so they had to figure out creative ways to get to a fax machine, and then we had a couple other guys that had to dig some cars out of the snow to get into to schools that were closed, and everyone made it work. So at the end of the day, we got all the uh, all the letters in, all the faxes in, and everything's good to go. We had a great day today. You know, the staff really did a good job. Some of the guys that we kept on staff and the new guys and getting together, I think it, they really brought a lot of enthusiasm. I think the people on campus did. I think our players did a good job. So I, I think it's going to prove out down the road that, uh, you know, we did a good job and we got some kids that are going to really uh, be good football players for us. <laughs> Ended up being only 10. That's nice. Smooth sailing. Who's that? Uh, Dave Wynn. Chris Carter. Name? All right. Hey, it's not, not a sprint. A little bit of a journey, so just stay positive, and uh, hey, we're excited about you. So, um, great job. You guys out of, are you guys in school? It's snowing like heck up here. Oh, did they? So you, where'd you go to, to fax it? Oh, good. That's great. So, that's great. So, Hey, we'll be looking forward to seeing you pretty soon, okay? All right, great. Congratula congratulations. All right, here's Coach Lazo. Great work, Chris. Uh, it's the culmination of a... Uh... Um, in some cases a couple years of work with different guys that you've been recruiting or had relationships with and in some cases it's the uh, the whirlwind of the last couple weeks where you're you meet a guy you, you have an interest he has an interest and, and things work out at the end of the day so it's just the culmination of a lot of hard work and uh, a chance to finally relax right now once that last fax came in a little while ago it'll be an important rest of the offseason for UMass football as the new and returning players continue to adjust to Coach Whipple and his system. Then, on Labor Day weekend, year three of the FBS era gets underway at Gillette Stadium as the Minutemen take on in-state rival Boston College. Well, it's time for us to step aside for just a couple of moments, but don't go far away. When we come back, we'll look back to UMass's last NCAA tournament appearance in hoops. Then a softball standout teaches us how to throw some of those crazy looking pitches. Now, hopefully they don't make me try to hit one of them. Don't go far. Yeah, we're just waiting on the appraisal to come in. Just give me a minute, man. Yeah, we'll get that back in a week or so. Have a great day. Alden Credit Union is the official credit union of UMass Athletics. Alden Credit Union. Banking. No boundaries. <laughs> How's the orange juice, Adam? Refreshing. It's Minuteman made. Alden Credit Union is the official credit union of UMass Athletics. Alden Credit Union. Banking. No boundaries.
What's that great old saying about strangers? They're just friends you haven't met yet. Among life's millions of moments, some of the very best are made by Mohegan Sun. When it's your time to shine, come see us. Book your wedding with award-winning UMass Catering. We can host, design, and plan your big event from full breakfasts, lunches, to elegant wedding receptions and dinners. UMass Catering can host events in one of our ballrooms at Overlook Campus, tented outdoors, or our own Renaissance house. The possibilities are endless. Let the culinary team at UMass Catering bring creative menus and exceptional service to your wedding day. Special rates for members of the UMass family and alumni. Hi, I'm Steve DeMarco. Wherever your destination, Premier is your solution. Our reputation as an industry leader is built on service, safety, and the guaranteed best price. At Premier, safety stands above all else. Our fleet is serviced on site by our certified technicians. Premier will customize your travel needs all within your budget, and we can even accommodate your travel requirements worldwide. Premier Corporate has your business needs covered. Rest assured, your team and clients will arrive safely, comfortably, and always on time. Premier, an extraordinary experience, guaranteed. You're watching UMass Sports Insider. Welcome back. It's time for Mohegan Sun Instant Replay. It's been well documented that UMass basketball's NCAA tournament drought has extended far longer than any fan would have hoped. But with that absence hopefully about to come to an end after 15 seasons, we flash back to the Minutemen's last appearance in the big dance. Under head coach Bruiser Flint, UMass went in as a seven seed and took on Larry Hughes and the St. Louis Billikens. Here's what it looked like on March 14, 1998. Back off the baseline, tough shot. Basketball tough shot, showed some strength hanging in there. You stayed outside, so everybody else picked up a man. Back spinning, jumper drops. Cuts the lead to three. UMass converts. Walker stripped yeah. away, stripped away by Walker. Got the numbers. Hughes the three. And St. Louis is in front by three. Tipped out high. UMass is going to run out of time. St. Louis is heading to the second round. St. Louis and Kentucky will meet here on Sunday. The Minutemen shot only 29% in that disappointing loss, while freshman Larry Hughes led the Billikens with 18 points. He would become the eighth overall pick in that year's NBA draft and play in the league until 2012. Let's go over to the softball diamond where the Minute women are getting ready to get their season into high gear. Recently, one of their pitchers took time to show us how in the world you make a softball move all the crazy directions that those pitchers can do it. It's time to send it to Caroline Raymond for this week's Between the Lines presented by Moffrey Commerce Insurance. Hi, my name is Caroline Raymond. I am a pitcher on the UMass softball team. I am a redshirt junior, and today I'm going to talk about a couple of pitching mechanics just for the fastball. First thing is leg drive off the mound. Uh, as women, we are way more stronger, lower body than upper body, so it's really important to use our legs coming off the mound. So the first thing is to just make sure you get really good leg flexion so you can use those quad muscles to push yourself off the mound. Another thing about uh, pitching mechanics for the fastball is you want to make sure once you plant and you land that you have a really strong front side but it's still flexed. You don't want to end lock legged. And then the third thing is just finishing your back leg. So you've got all your strength and your speed from your legs and you need to finish that all the way through the pitch. Uh, so the first thing I talked about was getting really good leg drive off the mound. If this uh, line on the floor was my mound, I want to make sure that my knee is a, across the red line. So that would be me being in my leg so I can push off the mound. So once you get that leg bend, then you can push off. The second thing is making sure that that front leg is strong, but it's not locked. If you're locked out, you're going to come up at the end of the pitch and that's going to cause you know, all kinds of issues with your mechanics. So you want to make sure you still have bend in that knee. And then the last thing is just to finish the back leg. All right, so as I'm pushing off the mound, I want to make sure I get that really good leg bend and then I can finish the pitch. So at the end of the pitch, I'm going to want to finish my leg drive all the way through. Thank you, Caroline. Coming up, the softball team plays in tournaments in Clearwater, Florida, Louisville, Kentucky, and Tampa, Florida, all while we wait 
for the snow to melt up here in the northeast. Not too bad. Time for us to go away for just a few. On the other side of this break, we'll introduce you to UMass women's lacrosse's all-time leading goal scorer, a senior who just keeps adding to her impressive point totals with each passing game. Meet Katie Ferris right on the other side. plays double zero just once and sometimes absolutely nothing becomes absolutely everything among life's millions of moments some of the very best are made by mohegan sun when it's your time to shine come see us hotel umass was voted the best hotel in amherst situated on the beautiful university of massachusetts campus Hotel UMass is where you stay to be in the heart of it all. With 116 contemporary guest rooms, free wireless internet, room service, 36 meeting rooms, free parking, and in walking distance to downtown Amherst, Hotel UMass has it all. A forward-thinking insurance company with a global network. Providing friendly service with over 2,000 professionals taking care of you and your family. Mafre Commerce Insurance. The first name in insurance for more than 1 million customers. Focused on taking care of you and your family. Providing freedom from worry everywhere you go. Mafre Commerce Insurance. At Alden Credit Union, our home loans leave room in your budget for some fun. You can get the kitchen you want, have space for a new friend, and still afford a night out with old friends. At this rate, you can have it all. 2.49% APR on all home loans. At this rate, you can get that new car. Low, low rates on auto loans. Alden Credit Union. Banking. No boundaries. What's that great old saying about strangers? They're just friends you haven't met yet. Among life's millions of moments, some of the very best are made by Mohegan Sun. When it's your time to shine, come see us. Hey, UMass fans, it's Dana Dingle, class of 1996. Uh, still the same thing, working hard, training, still running the AAU program, New York Lightning out of New York. You know, uh, putting a lot of kids in college and you know, helping kids out, get off the street and do some positive things. I think about how hard it was, <laughs> how much work and effort that we had to put it in, coming together, a bunch of people from different places, different states, come together as one for the same common goal. It's great that, you know, he's able to instill the same principles that he had when we were here and instilling these guys and now they're on a good run and hopefully, you know, continue. A popular member of the 1996 Final Four team, Dana Dingle scored over 1,000 career points and was an important glue guy for one of the most successful teams in UMass basketball history. We switch now to one of the most currently successful programs at UMass, women's lacrosse. You can see them practicing behind me. The squad is in search of an A-10 record six-peat this year. Their offense is led by a prolific senior scorer who is currently rewriting the Minute Women's History books. With more, let's go to Joe Duty. Women's lacrosse senior Katie Ferris finished last spring just three tallies shy of the UMass career goals record. That mark fell when the preseason All-American found the back of the cage four times in the Minute Women's season opening win at Vanderbilt on February 9th, breaking Pam Morrill's program scoring record with a full season still ahead of her. She has the best hands of really any player I've seen. I mean, some of the catches and shots that she comes up with, it's, you know, there's there could be no angle at all for her to score a goal and she somehow finds a way to get the ball in the net. Ferris originally committed to play at the University of Connecticut, but when Angela McMahon left UConn to take the head coaching job at UMass the summer before Ferris's freshman year, the upstate New York native followed her coach to Amherst. I never looked here or anything. It's just, I liked what Ange had to offer, so it made the decision easy, switching over. 
Together, Ferris and McMahon are undefeated in Atlantic 10 play, and the Minute Women have gone to the NCAA tournament in each of their three seasons together. A major part of that has been Ferris's development into a more complete player. When I first came here, all I did was score. I didn't have any assists or anything, and I knew in order to become a better player and be the player that I wanted to be, I had to do more things than just score goals. Part of that development came from playing alongside former Minute Woman Jackie Lyons, whose career points record Ferris eclipsed last year. I got to learn a lot of things from her just by watching her. There was a lot of things that I didn't know, you know, and being able to play with her was definitely a huge thing for me. You know, every day I would watch what she would do and I would try and do that and, you know, take what she taught me and add that to my game. And I, I just wish I had more than just one year with her. Terraciano has a wide open Ferris for the slam dunk. Once she graduates in May, Ferris is hoping to stick around the sport. I'm definitely looking to coach after school, preferably college. Um, that's definitely what I'm looking to do. I want to stay involved with it. But before that, she's hoping to carry the Minute Women to one more postseason run. Individual awards aren't, you know, a big thing for her. She just wants our team to, to make it far and do as well as we possibly can. We want to be in the Final Four. That's definitely one of our, our main goals this year. And, you know, we're not looking to just play in some of those big games. We're looking to win them. For UMass Sports Insider, I'm Joe Duty. Thank you, Joe. Again, no team in Atlantic 10 history has ever won six consecutive conference championships in women's lacs. We wish best of luck to Katie and the rest of the squad this year. Now let's send it over to one of the softball team's senior leaders. I'm Tiffany Meeks, senior on the softball team. And when we come back, we're going to find the favorite sports movies of some of my teammates. Book your wedding with award-winning UMass Catering. We can host, design, and plan your big event from full breakfasts, lunches, to elegant wedding receptions and dinners. UMass Catering can host events in one of our ballrooms at Overlook Campus, tented outdoors, or our own Renaissance house. The possibilities are endless. Let the culinary team at UMass Catering bring creative menus and exceptional service to your wedding day. Special rates for members of the UMass family and alumni. At Alden Credit Union, our home loans leave room in your budget for some fun. You can get the kitchen you want, have space for a new friend, and still afford a night out with old friends. At this rate, you can have it all. 2.49% APR on all home loans. At this rate, you can get that new car. Low, low rates on auto loans. Alden Credit Union. Banking. No boundaries. What's that great old saying about strangers? They're just friends you haven't met yet. Among life's millions of moments, some of the very best are made by Mohegan Sun. When it's your time to shine, come see us. Hi, I'm Steve DeMarco. Wherever your destination, Premier is your solution. Our reputation as an industry leader is built on service, safety, and the guaranteed best price. At Premier, safety stands above all else. Our fleet is serviced on site by our certified technicians. Premier will customize your travel needs all within your budget, and we can even accommodate your travel requirements worldwide. Premier Corporate has your business needs covered. Rest assured, your team and clients will arrive safely, comfortably, and always on time. Premier, an extraordinary experience, guaranteed. You're watching UMass Sports Insider. Welcome back. Our season of shows is almost done, but we've got one more treat for you. You guessed it, the Alden Credit Union lighter side. Hey, it's Oscars season, so in honor of Hollywood's biggest night, we asked some Minute Men and Minute Women this week, what's your all-time favorite sports movie? Let's check out their answers. Space Jam. <laughs> 
That's my favorite movie, <laughs> Space Jam. Favorite all-time movie, period? All-time, Space Jam. I'm going to have to go with A League of Their Own. Just a classic baseball movie with the girls playing, and I bet we can all quote it. Uh, Happy Gilmore, uh, without a doubt. <laughs> uh, Miracle, definitely. Miracle, the hockey movie. Yeah, probably because it's a true story, and I really like hockey. I'm going to say Moneyball. Yeah, I'm a bit of like a math nerd, kind of like seeing like the business side of baseball and Brad Pitt's not bad to look at either. The Monstars? Yeah, no, Michael Jordan. No, and Bugs Bunny, and Lola Bunny, and Daffy and all them. That's my squad. You were going to be one of the characters, would you be Dottie Hinson? Yes. No, I'd probably be the little sister because I have an older sister who was the Dottie, so I was the kid. Oh. And that's okay. <laughs> As a hockey player, do you appreciate the fact that Happy Gilmore was a failed hockey player? I do, and uh, I kind of skate the same way, I think. Um, I think I have a better... You can't be that bad. Oh, I'm pretty bad. Did you cry at the end of Miracle? <laughs> no, I did not cry. No? But I think that people who probably really experienced it cried, older people. Moneyball should have been really, really boring. Like, if you ever read the book, it's all about numbers and stuff. But they made a good movie out of it, right? They kind of took, like, the really, like, statistical part out of it and kind of... I guess did the more like emotional side of it. I want to say that's kind of like a kid's movie though. No, I'm a big kid at heart, so Space Jam it is. When Kit scores the winning run and knocks the ball free, do you think that Dottie dropped it on purpose? Oh yeah, she definitely did that so her sister could win. That's a, what a good older sister should do. I don't think she did. I never thought, I think, I think no she way. was trying to win. No way. If we gave you a prop, could you do the Happy Gilmore tee shot for us? Oh, absolutely. I mean, um, let's do it. Can we do this? We're going to give you a hockey stick. Uh, I should have said no. Yep. So wait, are you like into the sabermetric stuff? Oh, a little bit. I'm a finance major and like an economics major too. So that kind of, kind of stuff like intrigues me a little bit. And Bill Murray comes in. That's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Great movie. I love that movie. <laughs> Two thumbs up. Three thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> have you played regular baseball? When I was uh, maybe six, that was my first thing. I did t-ball with my twin brother, actually and I played my first season of baseball, wow. and it was awesome. Yeah. Well, then we need a pro baseball female league back. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Which way are you going? Going that way. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then that thing's gone. That thing's gone. Like, hole in one. Thank you guys for sharing, and thanks to all of you for watching UMass Sports Insider this year. We'd like to thank our friends at Comcast Sportsnet New England and Fox College Sports Atlantic for their airings of the show each and every week. For all of us here at the UMass Sports Network, I'm Josh Mauer thanking you again for spending some time with us. Have a great offseason, and we'll talk to you next fall. UMass Sports Insider. Brought to you by Alden Credit Union. Mafre Commerce Insurance. And Coca-Cola.